Hey everybody, welcome back to my Grow Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's fun video, I'm just going to start making a little do-it-yourself hydroponic system. So, Amazon um, purchase here. These are two-inch net cups. So I've got a bunch of them here. Those are ready to go. I bought this little shoe box at Home Depot in Canada, $1.88. So down in the States, I'm sure these are going for, you know, 99 cents. So what I've done here is I have just taken a marker. I marked off the middle and then I just wanted to go in two inches just so that I'm passing that little rim here. So I'm going to go one there, one there. So I'm going to do a total of six. I wasn't going to film this, but I thought, why not? Somebody might be interested. Somebody might, uh, you know, benefit from this little video. So just like that, I've already made one of these. I think I showed that on film already. But anyway, so we've got this one here and uh, ready to go. So I've got a hole saw. Hole saw is the way to go. It just makes things so much easier. And this one here, this is a two inch or 51 millimeter right here. I've got to always make sure that I'm on camera. So I'm going to start, see I put in my little dots here two inches in so I kind of know where I'm going here. So that looks good. I'll start off with that one. There we go. And we'll just pop that in and you can see, nice fit. So there's number one. We'll start over here. Looks good. You can see how easy it is with the hole saw. So we've got one, two, and then our number three. Yeah, there's not much to this video, but I thought I would film it anyway. Mm, here we go. And our last one. And that's it. So a very, very super fast process. So we'll get all of these in. And that is how you make a do-it-yourself little hydroponic system. And this thing is ready to go. All you need to do is just fill it up with your nutrient and away you go. And you are ready. So I've got marigolds. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to keep um, filming the video and uh, I'll get those in there and then I'll come back and just show you what they look like. All right, I am back. I just cleaned up my whole work area and I am ready to go. I do have my fertilizer right here. And the nutrient I'm using is Arrow Garden and it's made by Miracle Grow. I love this stuff. So, this is a gallon, about 3.78 liters, and you just add a tiny bit. There's about, you know, about 1 teaspoon in there of that nutrient. So, I'm just going to get all of that in here. And then I want to play with the levels. Okay. Because you don't want to go too high up on your net cup. So I still got a ways to go. And we're almost there. Probably going to use this whole thing. Well, let's try it and see. And we're basically touching just the bottom, which is fine. So that is good for now. So now it is time for the plants. So I've got my little marigolds. And the reason why I wanted to switch these over today is that they're not doing very well. They're starting, the roots are getting, you know, really bound up in these tiny little capsules and I think they uh, really want to 
kind of get out and start spreading their roots. So I think it's a good day to do it. Right. And one of them is missing. Yeah, there it is. That's the one that I started off in the little uh, do-it-yourself hydroponic system using the uh, sour cream and yogurt little container. So I'm going to scoop these out. There we go. I mean, look at the roots here. They've got nowhere to go anymore. So I think this is a good way to go. So I'm just going to pop it in just like that. And then we'll get that in there. Just like that. And now that you've seen me do it, probably no reason. I'll do one more. No reason to keep doing all of them, but I'll get all of them done. Now I am new to hydroponics. And for purists, they're probably going to say, oh, to be 100% hydroponic, you, you cannot use soil. I'm not really sure about that. You might have to use some other type of medium. You know, you might have to, like, take it out, remove the roots from here, and then place it, you know, into a little pod. But for, for me, I'm new to this. This season, this is the way I'm going. If you want to leave a comment in the comment area, I would love to read it. And then into there. But this is a hydroponic system because it is, once the roots start getting down into our nutrient, then it's basically we are we're bottom feeding all of the plants. Let's lift that out. Look at that. Ooh. I think that's good. Then we'll just get that one in there. There. So that's it. So I do have, what have I got? I've got two little areas left. I'm probably going to put something in there maybe today. I don't know. But for now, um, that's it for this video. So let's just take a little look at what we've done here. So as I said, I'm new to hydroponics. See, my, my nutrient is just coming up on this one here just about that much into the cup. You don't want it too much. So what I've learned through, you know, a lot of watching videos and, you know, reading stuff on little websites is that once the root system starts be becoming established, you need to have a lot of roots that are actually going to be exposed to air so that the plant can actually breathe and then the roots that are getting down into the nutrients, that is where the, the plant feeds. So it sucks up the nutrients through those roots. And then all of the roots that are closer to the, to the top, you know, like on, on some of the plants, you know, the roots could be six inches long and, you know, maybe one or two inches at the top. This is where you want them to be dry. And this is how the plant takes in oxygen. So that's what I've taken from that. So... And I think, uh, I think that's probably right because I've seen that on quite a few websites. So there we go. So that's how you do it. I mean, you can see just with basically nothing um, how you can make these. And these things here, these little net cups, very inexpensive on Amazon. You can create your own using little yogurt cups, you know, and you can take a little exacto knife and start making, you know, little slits in it. You can do it that way or you can go this way. I just don't have the time. To do a lot of these by hand but you can do it so anyway I think that looks pretty good let me just lower my camera so we can see this a little better all right I've lowered my camera just so we can get a nicer view of this and I'm gonna just tilt it up a little bit there we go that's about as far as I can go without it overflowing but I think that looks pretty good so just to finish off the video I thought maybe I should bring in the other one, the little DUI one that I did with the sour cream container and the yogurt container. So like I was saying, net cups, you can buy them, very inexpensive on Amazon. Or you can do something like I've done here. And look at that. So that is a yogurt little container and I just took a drill and just made a bunch of holes. And there we go. And then I've just put the little clay pellets in there to just stabilize the plant. 
So this plant here, Marigold, is the same. It's the same one. I started all of these off at the same time. And you can see that uh, today is March the 16th, and you can see that this is still living and, look, and you know, just like doing very, very well. That's why I just got the idea. I thought, you know what, this is doing very well. It's been in there for, I'm not sure how long now. I did, I did a video on it when I did this. It, it's got to be uh, four or five days for sure. Anyway, so I thought, you know what, it's safe to switch these over to the same method. So there we go. So I just wanted to show you that. So I do have a video on making this as well. Um, just check my video list if you're interested in that. So that's basically it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.